We're here at Bromsgrove Station today on the Cross City Line in Birmingham. We're going to go for a ride up to New Street, walk over to Snow Hill and take a chill and set all the way back to London Marylebone. I'm your presenter Aaron and join me as we go on yet another British Rail adventure. Roll the music. Just a quick bit of information about the stretch of line we're doing on the Cross City today. We're here at one of the terminus ends for the Cross City services, which is Bromsgrove. One station up the line is Bart Green, where the branch to Redditch turns off, and a couple of stations along is Bourneville, where you can get off and go to the Cadbury's World factory and tourist attraction. And then we're only going as far as Birmingham New Street, so we'll come back at some point and cover a bit more of the Cross City line. The, the other service that run along here, as you can see, the one, Class 196 pulling away for West Midlands. I'm not sure, too sure where it, that's come from, but again, could be something we explore in a further episode. But I'll stop talking about the route now and I'll give you a bit of history on the Class 323. British Rail Class 323 is an electrical multiple unit that has played a significant role in the history of the British Rail system. Introduced in the early 90s, the 323 was built and designed by Hunter from Barclay and was intended for suburban rail services in the West Midlands. 323s were part of a broader effort to modernise and improve the transportation in the region with a distinctive design featuring a light blue and white livery, the 323 quickly became a familiar sight on the routes connecting major cities like Birmingham and its surrounding areas. These trains are known for their reliability and efficiency, making them suitable for the demand of urban commuter services. The 323 has undergone various upgrades and refurbishment over the years to ensure continued reliance and performance. As the, as the West Midlands Rail Network evolved, the 323 adapted to the changes in technology and passenger needs. Their contribution in enhancing regional connectivity and providing a vital link for daily commuters underscores their importance in the, in the history of British railway transport. Today, while some have been retired, others may still be in service, contributing to the ongoing legacy of the British Rail Class 323. Now, the, they're not just owned by West Midlands, they're also operated by Northern Trains. Um, I've managed to see one of these on the last, well, on the first British Rail Adventure up at Manchester Piccadilly. But there is one other one that we were trying to spot. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to see it, and that's the one that's been put back into the Centro Train Regional Rail livery. I'll put a picture up, up on screen now of it in Train Sim World 4, as I do have the Cross City line on there. But that's enough about the class. Let's go for a ride back to Birmingham New Street, shall we? So we're leaving Bromsgrove, now we're back towards Birmingham New Street, we're about to go up the infamous Lippy Incline. Now I did mention this a bit more in a previous British Trail Adventure, which is actually the first one, which was formed for Blackpool North. There'll be a link up in the video just about here, and obviously the thumbnail will appear over here to advertise it. But yeah, we're going to head back up towards Birmingham on this lovely 323. Tell you what, the motor sounds the really station is actually brilliant. Is bad green. Just crossing over from platform 3 on the down, onto the up line. So, See you back at New Street.
you at Birmingham Snow Hill Platform 2 on a Chiltern Rail Class 168 Silver set. Well, Silver livery. We're going to head back to London Marylebone. We only just made this train, so unfortunately I wasn't able to get any footage here at Birmingham Snow Hill. But if I can, I'll try and find some royalty free image, some royalty free footage and pop it in here. If not, I'll just do a bit of talking as the train leaves. The journey we took from Birmingham Moor Street back to Marylebone took about two hours and about 15 minutes, but it was a nice service. The seats were quite comfortable on the 168 we were on. Um, we did pass a steamer, but here's a little bit more about the Turbine Star family of trains. Class 168, 170, 171 and the Class 172 represent a family of trains known as the Turbostar family. These were built by Bombardier with the first 168 being introduced in the late 1990s. These trains have been plying their merry trade all across the UK rail network with, being, with operators such as West Midlands Trains, Transport for Wales, Cross Country, Southern, EMR and of course Scott Rail. Most common formations of these units are two, two and four car units, with most being made, with some being made for three car running. Now there was one exception to this rule. Back when they were first introduced, there wasn't really any three car variants except for the Southwest Trains one, which is now owned by Transport for Wales and is the one you're about to see passing Newport. Now these trains were to go on and inspire the Electro Star family, which is an electrical multiple unit variant. But the Turbo Stars have been working hard ever since. They're really comfortable to ride on. And then I haven't got any footage of the Chiltern, Chiltern sets we're riding on today, but you'll see one parked up at Marylebone in just a second. So we've made it back to London Marylebone. We're at the other end of our journey today. Obviously we're gonna go back to Richmond to where we parked the car like usual. This is our set coming up, number 168106, Chilton Turbo Star. It's a, it was a nice journey. Oh, we're gonna get face bombed by Blake here. And we've got Butler in the background there doing his own thing. Yeah, uh, London Marlebone is now the only diesel, diesel only terminus here in London. It's uh, exclusively by Chilton, I believe. We Unfortunately, we weren't here to see any of the Mark IV silver sets with the Class 68 and there's no Clubmans here unfortunately which would have been nice to see but there are some nice 165s starting around here and obviously we had the really nice 168 coming back but yeah we're going to head back to Richmond now which means we get to ride on the Bakerloo line again go on the 1972 stop and then we're probably going to go on a 455 on the southwestern line out of Waterloo but enough of me talking. Let's have a quick look around the station, shall we? Where's the off button? Quick little bonus fact about Marylebone Station. If you look above the ticket machines in the in the main concourse it's, it's got the old NSC logos on it as well as the London Underground round all. and if you come down to this end past the Burger King and to the grill place there's a lovely heritage wall about the, the history of the station I'll get a few photos up on the screen in a moment and I'll reply obviously I'll supply affiliate links down below to find out, so you can find out more history about the station as unlike in the last episode of British Rail Adventures I haven't had as much time to go into detail with the different stations today, but yeah, I'll quickly show you and see you in the next one. Just thought I'd take a quick break on the way back to Waterloo here at Baker Street Station. There's a couple of things Baker Street's famous for Danger Mouse, song by Jerry Rafferty. But the other thing, which is most poignant at this station, is Sherlock Holmes. Pick up the 72 stop, rattling in. So we're going to hop on this one back to Waterloo, and then 
What do you reckon? A 455 back to Richmond? I think that sounds good. Quick peek. In a cab. Let's hop on this carriage, shall we? So we're finally back at London Waterloo. This is going to be our last train of the day. So, South Western Railway Class 458 pre-refurb Juniper unit built by Alston. Now if you're currently wondering why this platform took so over, we're actually on the old Eurostar platform here at Waterloo. Platforms 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25. Now the Eurostars did used to run in here before HS1 was completed, so you used to be able to go to Disneyland and Paris to Nord from here. But we'll save that for the next video when we do we when we actually go on HS1 and we talk more about the the Eurostars there. But for today, I think we'll just stay. Stick with these units. Now enjoyed this British Rail adventure as we've gone from Bromsgrove all the way over on the cross city line in Birmingham back to here at London Waterloo. But I've been your presenter as Aaron, I'm going to hop on this train home and we'll see you in the next episode of British Rail Adventures. Toodaloo!